Christ is militant. Christianity is a religion of warriors. And sometimes people become a little bit discouraged because they think that they will come into the church and all their problems will just go away and the devil won't bother them anymore. But I have a <laughs> reminder <laughs> that many people don't particularly care for is that we're always in battles in the body of Christ. When we study the life of Jesus, he was always in a battle of some sort. He was either going into a battle, in the midst of a battle, or coming out of a battle, getting ready to go into a battle. So that is the Christian warfare, amen? And it's going to continue until Jesus returns. But when I declare that I am armed, and when you declare that I am armed and extremely dangerous, satanic and demonic forces have to flee. See, when I put my feet on the floor every day, the devil know that he is in for a fight, that I am his worst nightmare. Amen? Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, in this word in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verses 1 through 8, we find the, that Moses is reminding Israel of his age, his chronological age, and the limitations that comes with age, and that he can no longer go out and come in and do the things that he used to do. In other words, he's getting ready to go home to be with the Lord. The Lord had already told Moses that he would not cross over the Jordan into the promised land with the nation of Israel. Moses understood that and Moses accepted God's decision concerning his life. He didn't try to quarrel with God or reason with God. He just walked in obedience to what God said. Moses was a man of great faith. And in this parting word, he encourages the people of Israel to continue to go forward in the Lord, not fearing anything or anyone. And that is a message from the body of Christ today, to go forward, not backwards, not looking back to see what is going on in your past or who is behind you, but to keep our eyes trained on the Lord. Amen? Amen. And in, in looking at this word, I'm reminded of yesterday. I had to go to Panama City. And that is a little drive from where I live. And as you know, the weather was, was very bad. There were tornado watches, there was torrential rain, and in our area, the, the water, it doesn't take much rain for the water, so the streets, excuse me, to flood. But the Lord had me to go forward to Panama City. And this was an appointment that I had already canceled before. So I had to go. But I am so thankful to, to God that I know that he always goes ahead of me because that's what I ask him to do Amen. every day. And he goes with me. So he is in front of me. He's with me. He's by my side. He's behind me. So I am covered. And as I was moving along that treacherous 98, Highway 98, I was praying all the way. And it just, Lord, just move the rain, dry the rain. And I was sharing with my son how the rain stopped. It seemed like it just was a, a, a big fan that came along and dried up the highway. And I was driving on dry pavement. Do you hear me today? God is so awesome. And I was not but a few minutes late. I called the person I had the appointment with, and they said, just take your time. Amen. But I was reminded, now, I could have turned off on one of those little side roads and made a U-turn and go back the other way. But why would I go back into the storm that's behind me? Amen? Amen? We keep going forward, and eventually, we're going to go through the storm. Amen. Because God is with us. But if we stop in the middle of the storm and turn around, we will probably get stuck in that storm. But keep on making our way forward. And that is what Moses is telling the people of God in this word today. To go forward. Yes, 
in the Lord, not in your own strength. 